Hi, good morning all of you. I'm Kamakshaya, open source software evangelist and also a full stack web developer. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to attach an external jar file or maybe a library to the existing Eclipse uh, project. The main purpose of this video is to, um, is to <laughs> show you a solution while uh, attaching a library. See, attaching a library is not straightforward in Eclipse and we need to import it. We have to attach to the build path and even after doing that, sometimes the libraries will not get attached and the classes will not be identified automatically. There is, I, I, I found a solution for that. I just would like to share that solution to my audience. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this with the help of a library called Apache Commons. You just have to go online and search for Apache Commons. I'm just searching for a, um, a, pro a project or a module called Math. Okay, so how did I come here? So, uh, write this one in your browser and the first uh, link must be the best link for our search and then here you got so many modules or projects I don't know what it is so obviously if this is Apache Commons is a project then uh, all of them should be maybe a module maybe a project I don't know what it is uh, so we have to go to so this is what I want actually so go to the downloads and then if you are in Windows just like me this is what is required if you are in um, maybe Linux then usually dot thos is a, is a Linux uh, compression utility tar utility so bin zip uh, zip is mostly so this is actually the um, required library for Windows users so then click on this download this and keep somewhere in your computer now open Eclipse so I'm just going to um, create a project and I call it as statistic, statistical analysis. It's okay, fine. It doesn't, it's just a name. Okay, there's nothing in, in the name. Now, what I need to do is I'll just create a class. Obviously, I need some class, right? Statistical analysis. And then I want a main method inside it. And then what happens now? The step number one is to import the library. We don't even need to import the library. We can just you know, add the straight away from wherever it is. So general file system, next, then browse for the, this is actually the path where I saved my binaries. This is the D drive and this is the path. So we need to just select the folder. So I'll just tell you, I'll go up. See, so this is, um, somewhere I think I have libraries folder this is my path and this is what I have to the main folder okay now Eclipse will populate all the jar files inside that directory this is what we need so the main library commons hyphen math 3 hyphen 3 dot something like that okay in your case it may be different by the time you are in this number state to differ okay. uh, now this is, we don't want the tools, uh, we just want this one. So now finish, and that is not sufficient. We have to go, so I'll do one thing. So now I'll come back to the main method, and here I'll just, uh, you know, copy from the examples. I don't want, I can write, but I don't like to waste the time. So I want to do some, you know, descriptive statistics. Here we have the code. So the code is all about like, you know, we, have, we need to create an instance of the class descriptive statistics and then we have to add the data to this object and then we can do whatever we want to do. Like we can, there are many methods available from this. Once we create the object and this object, through this object we can, you know, make use of all those methods that were defined in this class. So that is actually the spirit of Java. Okay, so create the instance use the loop to add the values and then compute the measures, statistical measures, something like that. Now copy this, copy the entire code and then come to the method in your Java project. You see here input array is a requirement. I don't want uh, such a big name for the array. I just call add and uh, <coughs> okay. And then I create this R here. Sorry. Add double. By the way, Apache Commons accepts any array defined by the data type double. 
new double for the time being. I just uh, keep uh, 10 as a reference number. That is the length of the. Now this is solved, right? Now let's come to this. So this is actually, the, as I said, the main purpose of this uh, video cast is to show you how to attach a library as a reference library and then troubleshoot the classes. I mean, now when we press the cursor on it, you see I don't uh, find any library from which I can attach this class or I can find this class. Now what I need to do is I can resolve that if I go to the build path and then import the, click on this, you see library, there are many tabs here. We have to go to the libraries, click on module path. If you don't click on it, you don't find this enabled. Now add JAWS, I already have that in my workspace and add it and then apply and close. Now when I press, when I, when I place the cursor on this class, you see there is an additional option here. Descriptive statistics, do you want it from this, uh, you know, library? Yes. And now <laughs> that is rectified. That's rectified because sometimes you don't get right rectified and you still will find that, you know, red color wiggly underline under this class then what you need to do is you just have to go to this file called module-info.java and this line is very very important we have to see in the module file we have to see that this line is there sometimes this line will not be created automatically after we attach that the jar file to the project then what we need to do is and it will show you okay when you are inside the code um, even after you know attaching this uh, import that red color wiggly line will not disappear then what you need, you have to repeat the same activity place the cursor on that uh, red color wiggly line class and then you will find an option called uh, you know add the line uh, it requires this one add the line requires comments dot something like that then you press on that then it the problem will be resolved the problem will be solved okay so that is actually the main intention of this video now. So since I don't have any errors, so I can just uh, make use of this uh, mean and then uh, standard deviation and then uh, so it, it just works. Now save, run the file, you have everything because I'm not uh, passing the values here. So array, I, I have to pass some, this array must have some data, okay. So now at this point in time, yeah, this is the mean, standard deviation, and median because this is a normal distribution. I'm just creating a linear number series here. The data is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. Okay, that's the that's the idea behind this uh, video cast. Uh, I just wanted to show you a remedy as how to attach a library and make use of the classes. Most essentially, how to rectify that <laughs> red color wiggly line under the class name. Uh, okay, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the new content. Please press like button.